Legend Martial Arts. Well, I think we might have just found the best seat here. And Braden and Bridget, I mean, you guys got a front row view of everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. Bridget, what was your favorite part so far? Um, probably seeing all the cheerleaders. I agree. The cheerleaders were awesome. They performed one of their cheers. You want to be a cheerleader one day? Are you a cheerleader? Yeah, I'm a cheerleader for West Park Junior Panthers. Ooh, so you guys, you were watching them, like, are wanting to join in, huh? Uh-huh. And then, Brayden, what about you? Um, I liked seeing the dark side going past. Oh, yeah. So some Star Wars characters were in the parade as well. They were, I'm surprised you weren't scared of them. Got it, got it. All right. But he said we didn't see Darth Vader, so maybe he's coming around soon. Check these out behind us. Wow, we got the kids with the nunchucks. All right. I do karate. Okay. Oh. So you think you can go out there and do that? No, yeah. He's only, he's just learning. He's oh, he's just learning. Well, very soon, so you're getting inspired right now, right? All right, well. We are very excited because we got some candy. We're getting all the free things out here, and it has been a wonderful morning thus far. I'm joined here with Pam. Pam, good morning. How good are morning. you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? So this has been quite the ordeal all morning. I mean, it's the never-ending parade. Absolutely. We have a lot of entrances here, so the parade is going to be about an hour and 20 minutes. We're excited that so many people are coming out and watching. Yeah, I was shocked because we've been out here early this morning because the 5K was going on. And it actually worked out perfectly because you get a great spot for the parade. Now, this is kind of an all-day festivity because once the parade's over, the party continues, right? Absolutely. The party continues over in Royer Park. We have a, a patriotic band playing and lots of games for the kids to play. And also, you know, some food vendors. The Rosal Aquatics Complex is open so people can swim from 1 to 5. And then tonight, there's fireworks at the fairgrounds. Oh my god. So it's like yeah, your day is entirely packed. You didn't need to make your own agenda because y'all had it all prepared. We have planned your entire 4th of July celebration. But you know, if you want a barbecue in the middle of that, you can find time. I'm sure of it. There we go. There we go. Working within the schedule, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So tell us, I mean, so many Roseville businesses, clubs, groups are represented in this parade. Tell us a little bit about what, what is involved in the parade. You know, the parade has a lot of different, like, local community groups here. We have buyers gymnastics coming up and local businesses and nonprofit organizations. It really just makes us maintain that small town feel, even though we're growing all the time here in Roseville. Well, the parade is continuing. We're seeing some dance moves, some gymnastic moves. We've been seeing some incredible floats as well. My favorite so far was the balloons. Those were amazing. And then we, of course, saw the nunchucks, the karates, the cheerleaders, the roller skaters. This is a great time for the whole family. And of course, we want to see you at Royer Park right after this. So Royer Park, we're heading there at what time? As soon as the parade's done, it will start at Royer Park. It's just across the creek, so you take walk across the bridge, and there, you're there. All right, there we go. Couldn't have made it any easier if you tried. Can't wait to see you out at Royer Park. Come on down, bring the kids. If you missed the parade, well, you just got a sneak peek, and it's you, you want to make up for it and come to Royer Park. So if you're in Roseville, head out to downtown Roseville. We'll see you soon. All right, have fun.